and subscribers welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful day today we out here this man i go do some spear fishing all right it's been about a week now since i posted a video so i go do a video today i go jump into the water hopefully we get some great clips so you guys can watch all right yeah man stay tuned yeah peeps so we walk down the beach you know and we find a little spot a little entrance spot um, First, me have to jump off right there, so it looks like our nice little spot. Um, we actually they close to the Ocherios Pier, Ocherios Harbor right there. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's the Ocherios Harbor right there. So we are gonna jump off here, so we are gonna swim go down to Duns River side. All right, sky kind of get overcast, you know, like we have a piece of weather coming in, so we just have to hurry up and jump into the water and see what I go on. All right, yeah. Alright guys, so we in the water now, as you can see I'm getting my gun set and ready to hunt, alright? Immediately after setting my gun, I spotted a barra swimming away from me. I took the shot anyways, um, I got him but it, the shot wasn't placed properly, he shook the spear out and swim away. Here I spotted an eagle ray on the ocean floor, which is not normally seen. They are most times swimming in mid water, so I went down to check it out. This one was not moving or anything. It wasn't um, dead, but it looks like it was about to die. So that's an eagle ray right there, looking like it is about to die. So that is one of my subscribers right there. Um, told me he saw a nice fish went under this rock. So he's down there checking it out. He didn't see the fish, so I decided I'm going down there and take a look as well. I went down, had a look and didn't see the fish, so I'm heading back to the top. Right here, I spotted one of my favorite fish to eat. I decided on taking this one. I placed a nice shot on the fish and I am taking it home. Thank you. 
Right here I saw some squids and I decided on taking one with me so I made the dive trying to choose the one I want and when I finally decided on the one that I want I took a lovely shot right here and nailed it from a good distance as well It's a nice squid right here. Um, I actually gave this one away to a guy on the beach. Now right here I decided on taking the dive with my subscriber to record him shoot this fish. It's a lizard fish, we call it. So I'm down there. He took the shot, he got the fish. Now he's heading back to the top while I'm recording. Now he saw some lobsters, he pointed them out to me. Instead of me going to the top, getting some breath, coming back down, I decided on releasing one rubber going back down there to get one of the lobsters there was two I took a shot and then tried to retrieve the lobster the spear came out I tried to grab the lobster it went further up underneath the hole and I was down there for over my limit so I was hustling to reach the top made it safe. Now one of the other divers went down to try and uh, get the lobster. He grabbed the lobster again and um, he actually lost it as well. He still did that enough. Two of them did that enough. A lion fish did that too. Oh. A nice lion fish did that too. In the to the when you go wish by lobster then there and look up. In No right here at this spot the visibility was much better so I was looking around to see if I saw any nice fish that I wanted to take I, I ended up at this spot right here where I saw some doctor fish that's what we call them here in Jamaica blue doctor fish the correct name is actually blue tang blue tang I decided on taking a double shot I wanted to shoot two of them at the same time 
So I was there waiting for them to line up. While I was there waiting, I saw a bigger fish behind them. I just saw the mouth area of that fish like pushing out and it went back in so I decided on going back to the top getting some breath coming back down to take a better look so I made this next dive to see exactly what it was moving real slow trying to find a better position to see more under the rock but I did not see that fish I was anxious to find out what kind of fish it was so I decided on taking another dive so I went down there again and I went more under the rock and I, I, I saw another hole, a smaller hole I take a look and I realized that, that the shadow was behind there it was very dark underneath there so I decided on going back to the top to um, get a flashlight to borrow from one of the other divers because I left my flashlight I left my gun at the spot should in case that fish wants to come out you will actually see the gun and um, stay in the hole alright so I call the guys right here yo yo the flashlight the flashlight, tell us a why light. So the guys came over. The diver with the flashlight was far away from them. So I decided on taking one of the smaller guns and um, went back down there to check it out at the smaller hole. When I went back down there, I got a better view. I saw that it was a mountain snapper. I got a shot, I took the shot. Check the spear to ensure that it was set properly in the fish. Call one of the divers down to help me secure the fish while I went to the top. Now the hole that I shot the snapper through was actually smaller than the size of the snapper. So the aim was, through, was to get him through the bigger side. So I went down, placed a knife in his forehead. Um, here I am killing it right now after I kill it then I will go back get some breath come back down I'm down there now so I'm going to take him off the spear and then retrieve the spear from the side that I actually placed the shot through so I'm retrieving the fish right here successfully retrieve the fish and as you can see it's a nice mutton snapper right there your average yardy right here that's the name of his youtube channel he got a puffer fish so i'm actually heading in right now it 
was a beautiful dive i got a prize fish this is actually my biggest mountain snapper yeah Right now peep so back out of the water and thing um catch one nice little snapper the water never so clean so a hundred percent but um actually managed to find a one fish and thing i'm grateful for that yeah so clean up go well, we'll clean up and we'll go ahead and we we'll now go clean up the snapper because we want to weigh it if you know how much it weighs because me actually um I have a scale with me, so I'm going to bring it to my way and see how much it weighs and things. Eh? So, I'll show you what I catch right now. Nice mountain snapper. First round, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice one, you know. It's the biggest one you ever catch. You catch mountain snapper already. record the next time so I want to know the exact record so we can actually go off of the record you know yeah so nice one people yeah Love. see I can put a estimate on him right now I say I want to have we about uh, 8 to 10 pound so so go up to see what I go on team alright yeah, so this is the snapper right now. Nice little muffle snapper. Alright, peace. So, I'm going to weigh him now. I see much in here. So, remember, I did say 8 or 10 pounds. Alright, so ready. See me. Scale 0. Ten pound, exact people. Ten pound, right, Panama people. Yeah. No gun. I'm gonna catch you. Yes, today. And a line of spear. Shoot me, shoot me. Yeah. Let's take our best of first. Mark your mark, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right now peeps so the snapper that I caught yesterday I brought it over to Portland for my family so they decided um, they're gonna do a little bit of it for me so this is what they did Escovish and um, the last time we did Escovish on the channel was with the Sprat but we did it natural now this one is the one we actually um, put it in the pot and saute it all right with the vinegar and as you can see inside there we got pimento seed carrot onion and the whole works you know and hot pepper you know you can't forget the hot pepper so this is it the snapper mutton snapper looking good on the plate all right guys so actually i'm gonna have some of this right now yeah peeps so see it you know looking nice so now I'm gonna mash up this one now, alright? Where you eat for dinner? What? And you fish when me catch food, no? I eat, me I eat now for my dinner. I want TSC? Yeah. Right, see that piece here? TSC. Mm. You fuck here. Alright. You like it? Yes. Nice. As I will always say, stay safe, remember to hit the thumbs up button, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet, share the channel with your friends and family, and stay tuned for the next epic adventure, alright? Yeah man, peace out.